36-year-old Dede lives in a small fishing village in Indonesia. For more than 10 years, he has struggled with a mysterious disease that has left him unable to work or be a real father. Dede's brother-in-law, Emud, and his father fear that with the disease spreading over his body, Dede will soon become completely disabled. Hi, welcome everyone again. I'm Michael Lanos. Thanks to Lynn Berry for uh, filling in. And then we can come back to this. That's Dede Kaswar, better known as Tree Man. We're featuring his story as part of our Medical Mysteries series. Now, the Indonesian man has spent much of his life covered in tree-like growths. You see some of them there. His struggle began. He's 15 years old. He gets cut on the knee in an accident. A small wart popped up on his lower leg, then spread uncontrollably. Now, the growths on his arms can weigh 12 pounds alone. Uh, he's had insects living inside them for several years. Now, he was able to earn a living as a builder and a fisherman, but he was forced to abandon those jobs because his condition had worsened. He ended up taking a job on a traveling freak show. Eventually, his wife of 10 years left him after it became impossible for him to support her and the two kids. But what caused those mysterious growths? Believe it or not, a rare genetic defect that prevented him from fighting off the HPV virus, human papillomavirus, 2008, Tree Man underwent surgery to have over four pounds of the warts removed from his body. And since then, he's been able to regain partial use of his hands. Uh, again, fascinating story. I know you're doing a double uh, take here at home. Uh, and joining us to talk about it, Dr. Richard Fershein specializes in pre preventative medicine. I, medicine. Among the headlines with this, doctor, is HPV is at the root of this. How is that? Yeah, I mean, this uh, virus has been in the news recently because it has been implicated in Michael Douglas's uh, case of esophageal cancer. It's also been a problem associated with cervical cancer. And, and it's a common problem that millions of people face every year when they're dealing with common everyday warts. This particular individual, Didi, could not fight this infection because he had a rare immune deficiency. Okay, so then... How did, it be, how did it become what we see today in the gross and the tree man moniker and all of that? Well, basically what happens with a human papillomavirus is it attacks very specific cells in the body called keratinocytes, and they produce a substance called keratin. That's the substance that is present on your uh, fingers when you get calluses and, and uh, when, when uh, viruses like HPV affect your skin, you get those growths, those wart-like growths. So when keratin is overproduced, it produces this continual production of this particular substance, which leads to these horns that developed over many, many years. Got it. And we're looking at uh, before and after shots here after the surgeries. How do you treat this? Is surgery the only option? Is there anything else can be done, doctor? Well, this was a huge debate at the time. Uh, the doctor from the United States, Dr. Gaspari, who went over to Indonesia, was a medical doctor here, believed very strongly in using uh, medical approaches to it, medications to help fight the infection, because these viruses tend to replicate and return very uh, easily. And the doctors in Indonesia felt that they needed to cut it off. Eventually, they came up with a solution that helped with both cases. In, in uh, situations that are present in everyday uh, individuals here at home or at, around the world, we recommend that people use uh, topical agents like salicylates for, for warts. You can use compounds, more ser serious medications like Aldera. Uh, in the office, we'll often use cautery or laser treatments or actually surgically remove it. In his case, it looks like he needed both. And the treatment, while uh, delayed for many years, uh, seems to have been successful, at mm -hmm. least in reducing the problem. Yeah. Is there a cure? There's no cure, no cure for human papillomavirus. That's why in the case of the virus, one of the 100 viruses that can attack human beings, that's why in the case of genital uh, warts or the kind of uh, HPV that causes cervical cancer, why doctors are so insistent about getting the vaccine before the virus infects the individual. That will prevent, in that case, the cancer from developing. Okay. Dr. Richard Fershine, thanks again. A fascinating story here. We're it's the story of a tree man. That's the moniker we're talking about here. Again, just a fascinating case. Thanks again. Coming up, another fascinating story. In our 2 o'clock hour, you may remember the story of Connie Culp. She survived a murder attempt by her husband but lost half of her face from a shotgun blast. 
Well, the doctor who performed her surgery, the first face transplant of its kind in the U.S., is going to be joining me. Don't miss this woman's incredible story and that doctor's firsthand account. That's coming up in the next hour. All right. And next week, by the way, our, our amazing medical stories continue. Monday, we're going to bring you the story of a little girl born with eight limbs and the life-saving surgery that's given her new hope. Plus, the girl who may have unlocked the secret of the fountain of youth. She's a teenager with the body of a toddler. Both stories, the girl with the eight limbs and the woman who does not age. That's Monday right here on HLN.